Welcome back to the Metronome Madness League, everyone. It is the start of season number seven, and we have an exciting battle between the EV Hearts and the Maniacal Mewtwo's. The Maniacal Mewtwo's, of course, being the champions of last season. We'll see how they start things off today. There goes the scale shot coming from the Trico. Interesting things to note about this season. It's all about evolution. Uh, each team will have a uh, basic Pokemon going through a two-stage evolution in every battle. So we see the Trico starting on the Mewtwo's, and they'll end with a Sceptile, and the Eevees will end with a Primarina. There goes the Confuse Ray from the Poplio. Oh, good start for them. They're going to confuse the Trico. Confusion is a good thing, uh, especially <laughs> when you're do using it on your opponent. They may not be able to attack and damage to themselves. That doesn't happen here as Trico goes on the attack. Few other things to note. Trading is now allowed between the teams. So as the season goes forward, oh my goodness, the eruption. Pobio takes a lot of damage, even though it was not very effective. And there goes a fire place. That's super effective though. And you have to imagine, yes, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Trico all the way down to about a third of its health. Yes, trading is allowed this season, so the teams throughout the season may change up a bit. You know, the Mewtwo's may not have Trico on their team anymore, but still have Sceptile. We'll have to see what the team owners decide to do. There goes the Moonblast as Popplio goes down with a critical hit. Good job by the Mewtwo's. Eevees lose their first Pokemon. There also are openings for team owners. So if you're interested in being a team owner, let us know in the comments below and we may be able to uh, get you one of the teams here in season seven. There goes the Trico It's gonna start with a cut. And here's the important part of this Trico. Obviously it is uh, outmatched in terms of base stats. Brion's gonna use Oblivion Wing. Oh, that's some overkill. I was gonna say the important part for the Trico would be to do as much damage as possible Looks like it wasn't really able to do that as Rion uses a super effective move. It's going to go down and we're going to see a Grove Owl come out for the Mewtwo's. There we go. Mewtwo's going to go ahead with their Grove Owl. There we go. Grove Owl going first here. It has the typing advantage. We'll have to see what it does. It uses Air Cutter. That might get him a critical hit, at least. Does a little bit of damage, no crit. Brion now is going on. It's another Oblivion Wing. That's twice in a row. Eevee Hearts have come to play. Oh my gosh, the damage. Grovile taking a huge hit there. He used Oblivion Wing twice in a row. What are the chances of that? And it being super effective, the only thing it was missing is for it to be stabbed. Unfortunately, Brion's not a flying type. There goes the Tailwind coming from the Grove Owl. It's going to try and make it so fast. Or special thanks to our patrons. We can see their names on the screen below as Brion goes to an Icicle Crash. Another super effective move. Smart choices by the EVRs here tonight. And they are doing everything they can to win as the Grove Owl goes down. And there's two Pokemon defeated by this Brion right now. Mewtwo's are scrambling to do something drastic as they send out their Sceptile. Hopefully, Sceptile can do away with Brion quickly so it doesn't take too much damage. And that's what they're gonna plan. Sceptile gonna go first here with a play rough. That's doing just a bit of damage for a quarter of Brion's health, actually. And here goes the stockpile. Interesting, Brion's gonna raise his defenses up here. And that's a very smart move. Raising your defenses will actually make you better equipped to deal with a stronger Pokemon like Sceptow. We'll see if it's able to withstand the attacks that it has going against it. Here comes, oh, well, not against the Leaf Tornado. That is a stab, super effective move. And, oh, actually it does withstand it. Brion lives. It loses a little bit of accuracy, but that that defense boost definitely helped it out. Here comes a Frenzy Plant. That is just about the worst move they can use. Not very effective. Does a bit of damage to the Sceptile. Brion will have to recharge in the next turn as well, giving Sceptile two turns to just do away with it. 
And here we go. There goes the struggle bug. Struggle bug. Bro, Brion lives again. Loses some special attack there, but we will have to recharge this turn. Wow, that defense buff definitely helped them out. Here comes the Sceptile. It's going to go with a flying press, and now I have to do it. I believe it would. It does. Brion goes down. Here we go. Pre-Marina out on the field for the Eevee Hearts. Eevee Hearts fought to get a bit of an advantage before the end of this battle, but it doesn't seem like they have much of one. Sceptile only taking a bit of uh, damage there, and this battle is still in anyone's court. Here we go. There goes the Razor Shell. That's not going to be very effective, but I believe it drops your defense, so that could help him out a bit. Oh, it doesn't. It didn't that time, at least. Here comes the Pre-Marina. And, oh, Fissure! It's avoided! Eevee Hearts trying to end this quickly. Sceptile with another turn goes with a Boom Burst. Cover your ear drums, because here comes the loud noises. Pre-Marina takes a huge hit. Eevee Hearts are now falling behind. Here comes Pre-Marina. It uses Twister. It's not a Mega Sceptile, so it's not super effective. Only going to do a little bit of damage, but Sceptile approaching that halfway mark. And here we go. There goes the dual wing beat coming from the Sceptile. That's once and twice it hits. And that Pre-Marina is only at 43 HP right now. Hasn't done as well as the Brion before. Here goes the Psychic. And oh, there you go. That's the hit they were looking for. Sceptile at about a quarter of its health. The battle is still up in the air. Down to the wire for both teams. There goes the U-turn. Pre-Marina in the danger zone after that hit. 26 HP. Here's the move from Pre-Marina. It's going to go ahead with a crunch. The crunch lands on Sceptile, and it can't take it. Sceptile goes down, and the EV Hearts win their first match against the champions, no less. Excellent job by the EV Harps. We hope you enjoyed that match. If you would like to see more Metronome Madness, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Of course, special thanks to our patrons for supporting the channel. Uh, thank you very much. And make sure you check out the Discord. There's a link in the description below so you can join our community, uh, post memes, or talk about Metronome Madness League, whatever you want to do there. And with that being said, I will catch you next time.